The future of Michael Myers has just begun to take shape as today brings our very first official update on the upcoming Halloween TV series. Hey everybody, Matt here with Halloween Daily News and yes, today we have a very exciting update, our first real update on the upcoming Halloween TV series that is currently in development from Trankus and Merrimax. As you will recall, this was first announced back in October of last year, 2023, that Miramax would be working with Trankus to develop a TV series that would most likely be connected to upcoming films as well, because now Trankus and Miramax together hold both the film rights and the TV rights to the Halloween franchise. And now today, March 8th, brings an exciting new update as Deadline has spoken to Miramax's head of worldwide television, Mark Helwig. And you'll recall that back in October when that first announcement was made that Miramax had won the bidding war for the TV rights, it was announced at that time that Helwig would be working in close collaboration with longtime Halloween franchise producer Malik Akkad on the creative side of this series. So today on March 8th, Deadline published a brand new interview with Helwig talking about his new series, The Gentleman, and other projects, including the Halloween TV series. In this new interview, speaking about the Halloween TV series, Mark Helwig tells Deadline, quote, we're on a fast track. It's a big priority for us. We've had lots of exciting conversations in recent months with a number of really talented people, and I think we'll have a pretty good idea of what we're going to be doing very soon. We're hoping to lock down the creative team very soon. Later in the interview, when discussing what direction the new project will take, Helwig does confirm that it will not continue the storyline from the recent trilogy of David Gordon Green-directed Blumhouse-produced Halloween films. He says, quote, it's a big world, and then he adds, quote, so I don't think that is an opportunity to go off the back of that, he says, in reference to how Halloween ends effectively ended the story of Michael Myers, for all intents and purposes, for the time being anyway. He goes on, offering only the vaguest of clues as to what we can expect with this series. Helwig further states, quote, the foundation of it is the original film, the John Carpenter movie the characters of that film, and perhaps a group of characters that we haven't really focused on that much in recent film versions, or even in a number of them, end quote. And then what I find most notable about all of these comments is this last sentence right here. Helwig clarifies, quote, it's a creative reset, completely and going back to the original film, as opposed to spinning out of any of the more recent film adaptations, end quote. All of this sounds extremely exciting to me. Um, again, the confirmation that we are getting a complete reset. Um, I love hearing that it might focus on some characters that we haven't focused on that much in recent film adaptations, in his words. So again, I'm thinking he might be alluding to Dr. Loomis and hearing that this project is on a fast track, that it is a high priority for Merrimax. That's what I want to hear. I think that's what we as fans are all happy and, and glad to hear him say. And then hearing that the creative team is almost in place. All of this sounds to me to confirm what we've suggested here on this channel and during our Michael Myers Monday live streams recently that uh, most likely this year, 2024, this project is going to go into production and actually begin filming, in which case we would be looking at a 2025 premiere. I would anticipate we're going to be getting some of these announcements that Mark Helwig is alluding to here as far as uh, the writing team and the creative team behind this. It sounds like we're going to be hearing some of those announcements very soon. And if that is the case, which it seems to be what he's saying here, um, that would certainly open the door wide for production to begin as early as late summer, if not early fall. 
I I'd certainly hope that maybe they're filming around the actual fall season. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? And then, of course, production could be wrapped and ready to roll for a fall 2025 premiere for this highly anticipated Halloween TV series. So give me your thoughts down below in the comments on Mark Helwig's statements today to Deadline regarding this series. Are you happy to hear that it is going to be a complete creative reset, that they are going back to the original 78 story? And again, he does state that it might focus on some characters that recent films have not focused on as much. Uh, to me, the big one that alludes to is, is Loomis, because of course Loomis was, was um, not featured. I mean, he was featured in the recent three films, but not that much. Um, who else could he be talking about, though? Um, there, there are other characters, and as he says in this interview, it is a big world. I mean, they might be going really big with this. Maybe we're going to go down the street a bit to the neighboring town of Russellville. Maybe we're going to visit some other characters. Maybe we're going to see Paul, who we only heard his voice, voiced by John Carpenter, on the phone with Annie. Maybe we're going to catch up with Judith's boyfriend and, and find out what happened to him after he left that night in 1963. Um, Michael's parents, other characters that um, are featured in that original film, but ever so, so briefly. Tons of possibilities. All of this, very exciting. I'm super stoked to hear these comments, and especially the fact that the project is on a fast track, that they are about to announce the creative team and lock all of this in, and that sounds very exciting to me. So give me your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed what you saw here, hit this video with a like, and make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, consider becoming a channel member. It's just $5 a month, and you get all kinds of cool killer perks. And look for lots more of our continuing coverage of the upcoming Halloween TV series. Until then, I'm Matt Arts for Halloween Daily News. Thank you for watching. Hey, everybody, I want to remind you that we have official merch. That's right, now available in the HDN Spring Store. You can show your love for Halloween every day, all year round, with official Halloween Daily News t shirts. Many different designs are available, many different styles colors, all sizes, including the original HDN Classic, our special Triple M crew design for the Michael Myers Monday regulars out there, and our brand new What Would John Carpenter Do design. All of these are available, like I said, multiple sizes, colors, and styles on t-shirts, and that's not all. We've got other merch available, like mugs, and stickers and lots of other cool stuff. Check it out now at the merch link in the description of this video.